The following program is brought to you by Kevin Shorey Ministries and our family of friends. Hey, Justin, you know what day it is today? Yeah, Kev, it's Monday. Wait a minute. No, it's a tribute to the cashew day, but you're not Justin. This is nuts. Roll it. It's the Kevin Shorey Show. Tape before a live studio audience in the Branson Mill in Branson, Missouri. Today, Kevin's special guest, Pastor Pudge and Sister Sludge. And the sometimes funny but always co-host, Justin Aller. And now the man who'll take credit cards or checks but prefers cashew only, here's your host, Kevin Shorey! Yay! Isn't it a great day to serve the Lord? Big hug to everybody. And I am, once a year, I wear my Hawaiian shirts or my Barbados shirts because that's where we had our honeymoon. I, I, I guess I have, I've been to Hawaii. I've been to a few islands, you know, Bahamas. So I collect shirts, but I am protesting winter. This is why I wear this today, because I don't like snow and ice. I don't like the dark winters. They're okay for a little bit, but uh, I prefer the sun and the waves and the... Is anybody with me? Does anybody prefer the heat over the cold? There are some strange people that love cold. They, they usually live in places that end in Oda. Minnesota, South Dakota, North Dakota. I don't know. But anyway, I live there too, so what do I know? I know one thing, I do not like, I said, let's do a Christmas song. We're doing Christmas stuff because it's Christmas in Branson for sure. And uh, one thing I do not like other than cold is fruitcake. And one of my favorite guests, they're going to be regulars here, I hope, all the time. Pastor Pudge and Sister Sludge are here today. Yay. Well, two people like that fact. Anyway, Pastor Pudge is going to sing a song for Christmas about fruitcake. Pastor Pudge. The postman come this morning, a package had arrived. I thanked the man and shook his hand, and then I went inside. I tore into the box to see what was in there. That's when all my excitement had turned into despair. Oh, what will I do with the fruitcake? It's made of all the squishy things I will never eat. I wish there was a special place for fruitcake And fruitcake who gave fruitcake to me I can use it for a doorstop or a heavy paperweight I give a bite as punishment to the dog who loses weight But that's not fair to Fido, might even be a sin I think I will recycle it and send it to my friend Oh will I do with the fruitcake? It's made of all those squishy things I will never eat. I wish there was a special place for fruitcake. And the fruitcake gave fruitcake to me. So if you get a package with no return address, you get that sinking feeling, that feeling of distress. And if that box is heavy, five pounds if it's an ounce, don't worry about how much it costs. It's a thought that really counts. Oh, what will I do with the fruitcake? It's made of all those squishy things I will never eat. I wish there was a special place for fruitcake. And fruitcake who gave fruitcake to me. The perfect tribute to the most awful thing you can give somebody at, at, at Christmas. I, but it is the thought that counts, right? No. Um, what you should give them is cashews. We're celebrating the cashew today. I, it's my favorite nut. It's the great, other than Justin Aller, it's my favorite nut. I mean, I love cashew. I'm not going to eat them. I, I, if I eat any, last time I ate peanuts, on, I, I coughed the whole 
the whole show, so I'm not going to do that. It's also just an animated day today. They have, uh, by the way, Pastor Pudge, Sister Sludge have a great CD called Life's Kind of Funny, and they're going to do one of my favorite songs on here about the donkeys, the donkey song. I can't wait. We were going to have the zoo on today, but they got shorthanded, so there's no animals, so yeah. we're going to do an animal theme and... Uh, it is Mickey Mouse's birthday this month. Did you know November? Uh, did, yes. Steamboat Willie came out, and it was the also oh, shout out Classic. to all my Disney friends. Love Disney. Anybody oh, love Disney no. World? Anybody yes, Disney? Yes. Mickey, do Mickey. What say? Happy Come birthday, on, everybody. <laughs> That's perfect. You're so good. They should hire you. I did fill out an application. Did? Waiting to hear back. <laughs> Are you waiting? To, no, don't I hire him. We want one him at here. The zoo, but they haven't called. No, back we either. want you here. We don't want to do that. You know, yeah. we're also we're do, we're voting. We want yes. people to vote if you I like the program. Uh, I said this the other day. We have heard. I said I'd never heard from the 41st state, which is Montana. Montana, but we did. Montana yeah, did a shout us. out. That's yes. right. Nevada did a shout out. I got a call just last night from Nevada. Mm -hmm. Somebody mm -hmm. ordering <laughs> the Justin special. Justin special. These are I not even available. Yes. I mean, we didn't want to bring them back. They're, I they're did. Just, it was just done. And but everybody wants them. Yeah. So until Christmas, at least mm -hmm. the boat is in. Well, it was. The yeah, boat had come in. The ship here. came in yeah. from China. It, well, that's why it doesn't. It's, yeah, yeah, it's already here. It's already here. And, so, and the generators are, are here. So yeah. the, the solar panel, the connectors all come with it. That's, you know, the Justin special. I've dropped it to four ninety nine, Kevin. Yeah, and, and we'll have a, yes, yeah. you did. And we're going to uh, do an ad on that later on in the yeah. program. So, whoa, there's the we're ship. Finally. Ship, there we go. <laughs> <coughs> anyway, so there's the ship. Good cashews, but yeah. the dollar day is what I was going to say. Yes. We're, we're just a dollar. We're going to say every day until for, for about a week, give people a chance to catch up and hear. Yeah. If you've everybody tuck just in a dollar, all the viewers, you don't have. have to put your name, just be your state. So I know that yeah, there's states because we, we still have some few of them. Connecticut. I'm thinking we should buy a Rhode map, Island Kevin, with what? big thumbtacks. Yeah, and put in. We need to set up something because like we hear from states from coast yes. to coast. It's really great. We're so thankful. We give you thank you gifts if you support in other ways. Uh -huh. Forty dollars, the kids' armor, which is uh, dispels the radiation from your phone and yeah. and, uh, and laptops. It keeps your body cool because it can actually change the temperature in your body. It according boils. According to the scientists, it That's boils. The word, it. Kevin. Yeah, you Jasper don't want that. Said. Who needs? Ooh. We ain't got time for that. No time. Our for brand new Christmas offer. His is our family prayer Bible. Yes. Get one of these. These are our $50 Bible, 365 yeah. scriptures in there. It starts with about a dozen Old Testament stories to set up the life of Jesus, and the rest is the New Testament. Mm -hmm. This is great with all these beautiful cartoon pictures. Oh, yes. there's a big I'll picture of Jesus. Those. Look at yeah, that. Those are fun. Yes, Look at and that. you can date it at the bottom after you have your family devotions. Yes. You had that, talked about it that day. So it, that's a great gift mm -hmm. to say thank you for giving. A lot of people have gotten the silver, but we have the silver book that we don't talk about enough. Gordon Pedersen wrote this great book to tell you all the great effects of using silver. Yeah, like uh, silver, the silver gel. Like the silver gel. Silver, silver gel. gel. Yes. Yes, that's <laughs> Tis good. the season. And um, the author, Lee Fredrickson. Who did the family come, prayer. Mm -hmm, yeah. with, well, Elmer help. Towns did that, the yeah. co-founder of Liberty University. And these guys from Liberty University have done some great yes. work. This is our first person Bible, the adult one. Or we have the kids one, comic which book. has no, the that comic. You can't show oh, I can't show that. Okay. Yeah, so and then, so that's 20 <laughs> or two for 30. Cool. So those are some of our gifts to say thank you mm -hmm. for becoming part of our family of friends. Yeah. Uh, partner is, is another word that a lot of everybody yeah. uses, but our family of friends. Yeah. Our family of friends you are also rallying. You, yeah. yeah. They're rallying to help us send fruit and candy to Guatemala. For sure. Uh, there's 300,000 homeless children just wandering the streets of Guatemala who've never had an apple never had a banana and so we're doing that as well For so christmas, help us help yeah. them by christmas because we only have a couple weeks left oh, yeah. then it's time to send it down there yeah. so uh, do that but awesome. uh, our family of friends you, you're going to talk about it okay and, and that's our I, we have a vip special family of friends yes. offer but but those monthly gifts is what really helps us to stay on the air to grow and go For to sure. other stations and reach the world and that's we what we really want to do so much yes. we do well talk about it here's here's justin pre-taped already talking about it <laughs> roll it what an awesome year you know we've come so far but we still have a long way to go to reach the world for jesus thank you family of friends for your monthly support and we ask that you join and at 33 dollars a month you'll receive a new gift chosen by kevin to bless you this month in time for christmas is kevin's original christmas cd featuring songs that he's written and are requested every christmas season such as Let's Put Christ Back Into Christmas and I Will Not Be Silent About That Silent Night. And as a bonus, another print from one of Juanita Harold's award-winning mosaics. 
This one is a limited numbered edition, Man's Hope Jesus. If displayed and framed, it's sure to get a mention every time somebody visits this holiday season. And now, for a limited time, we're asking for those who will give a one-time leadership gift of $333. We're calling this our VIP family of friends. And to say thank you, we want you to come visit us here in Branson, where you will be showered with gifts, given two free nights at a nice Branson hotel, VIP studio seating, and dinner and a Branson show with Kevin. You can do this up to two times a year if you call ahead and make reservations. You can call us at 209-44-KEVIN or write us at P.O. Box 1122, Branson, Missouri 65615. Or you can go to kevinshory.com and become a $33 a month family of friend partner or a VIP family of friend with your one-time gift of $333 today. Thanks, Justin, and uh, thank you all for those who have become found friends. We had a, another VIP join yesterday, and so that's, that's awesome. That makes two, ah, which is great. It's better than zero. So uh, we're so thankful for that, but we want everybody send a dollar. Let it throw in the dollar, and it's not really just to, so that we can have an offering, which would be great, but it's I want to see who's all out there, and then I think that some people watch the program and just uh, say, well, I can't give this, or I can't, it's not in my budget, but uh, take a dollar and throw it in an envelope, put the, uh, your state, where you're from, and send it to us, and vote, and if you hate the program, send in two dollars. <laughs> anyway, I want to reintroduce to you, uh, they become friends, I, I hope we'll be friends. I love their CD, it says Made in the USA, that's important, I love that. And it says, life's kind of funny, and life is. I love entertainment, but I love humor. If, if you watch the program, you know I really kind of like humor. So I've just fallen in love with Pastor Pudge and Sister Sludge. Would you give them a nice welcome to the Kevin Shorey Show again? Thank you. <coughs> you guys, where did you come now? Because it's, it's, it's Bob and Alta, right? right? Uh, the Courtney's. But uh, where did Pastor Pudge, Sister Sludge come from? Well, uh, I've uh, been a comedian here in Branson for... Uh, several years. I started in, in 1990 here in Branson. I was the original comedian at Dixie Stampede, and I spent a lot of time really? at Silver Dollar City and working out there as a blacksmith, and, and I worked for Yakov and different places here in town, and uh, so that's where the, sl uh, the past pudge came from. Um, because I was slightly overweight, and I just wanted to uh, let no. people know that it was all right. You're not to be overweight. That's right. You have an expanding ministry. That's right. Yes. That's what it is. Thank you. That's and what uh, I tell people. <laughs> so I want uh, some cashews to expand I, your ministry. I hate to lose that figure. Yeah. But uh, I just w that's where Pastor Pudge came from. And then we were doing a show one night, and uh, as one of the uh, entertainers that was there with us from Branson. Uh, I used to introduce her as Miss Alta, and he says, Pastor Pudge and Sister Sludge, and it just stuck, and that's how it goes. Uh, yeah. Well, now, Pudge, I get, but the sludge, I don't know really. What how, What do you it feel about rhymes. the... It just it, rhymes. It just rhymes. Okay. Yeah, that's it, it all rhymes. it is. Okay. The, the very first time you're on the program, the very first introduction, I said, and now here's Pastor Pudge and Sister Sludge. Yeah. You know, I was you know, I was ready for, yeah. we, we are, are family, family. Yeah. but no. Yeah, we are, though. We are family. Yeah, I'm glad we are. I, absolutely. Yeah, and and uh, Cabela's, that's going to be a, a unique hat to have now because they got bought out by. Yeah, and it Fast keeps Pro. my head warm. Oh, it does? Yeah. yeah. It well, sure does. yeah, that's what they had. I got another hat for you. Can I give you a gift sure. just for being on today? Because we give missions, oh, a thing man. called BGMC. That's oh, like, man. I think that'd be a good color. And you got your oh, little yeah. buddy. Matches my guitar. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And there's Buddy Barrow right there, Buddy. Do you, do you have the, <laughs> excuse me. <coughs> uh, don't get I choked promise, up, brother. I promise, I didn't have any cashews. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, I did. Can I have some water? Anyway, so, so Buddy Buddy is uh, our mascot for missions. Uh -huh. And see, they have the little Buddy Barrels on all of the, dip, on the tables for change and all the loose change. We give hundreds of dollars every month into missions just for that. Anyway, this is one of the hats that they gave me to give away. And so, oh, wow. Thanks, brother. One. Yeah, Buddy. Man, that's cool. Thank yeah. you. Well, anyway, so so you you've you've done it all. A blacksmith, I I caught that. Yeah, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Comedian, and then when did you guys start uh, going on the road and uh, well, uh, start carrying the ministry? Because you do have a great ministry. Yeah, I spent 39 years as a professional a PRCA rodeo clown, and I traveled all over the world. And uh, then about five years ago, I looked in the in the paper and did not see one ad for a retired rodeo clown, and so. Uh, 
outside of being a talk show host. <laughs> no. yeah. And so, you know, I took an uh, Alta already sang gospel music because her family all sang gospel music. Right. And uh, some gospel royalty. Yeah. On and all side. I wanted to do was drive the bus for, you know, for her and Jean. But all, uh, but they, I started telling jokes and people laughed at it. And we yeah. all grew from that. And then some, uh, we got into an organization called the International Country Gospel Music yes. Association. Yes. And that's with all the big stars, you know. The, the, and uh, it took us about three years. But this last uh, summer, we were awarded the uh, award for the 2016 Comedian of the Year for the International Country Gospel Music yeah, Association. Yeah, congratulations on that. Yeah. And the only reason I mention that, it just shows what you can do if you have a dream. You work hard and put God first. Amen. Amen. And and you're doing great. I mean, people, you're seeing people come to the Lord. You're seeing you're seeing oh, people yeah. blessed and healed of the Lord. And uh, so so anybody that doesn't have a sense of humor, just get over it because Absolutely. you know what? God has a sense of humor. The Bible says on one verse just I know for sure in Proverbs he says, For the Lord himself laughs. Absolutely. And he laughs at the wicked one, for he knows his time is going to be short. So, uh, the evil. Uh, so, uh, man. I know God's got a sense of humor. Every time I look in a mirror, I realize God's there you got go. a sense of humor. No, no. But you know, uh, he, he does. He even says it's a medicine for us. Absolutely. And it brings healing. That's why I say people are healed in, in, in your service. So, people want. Uh, you to come, to, you know, if you want them to come to your church, please, you got the information's yeah. right there in front of you, have them come. Yeah, because we pastor our church too. Yeah, what? Yeah, we pastor our church on Tuesday nights. It's called the First Assembly of the Fire Baptized Sisters of the Holy Congregation of the Reformed Reorganized Independent Church of God Holiness. Oh, wow. Yeah, well, it's, a, it's a Babacostal Cowboy Church is what it is. Yeah, well, yeah. I'm glad you picked a short name so we could, we yeah. could remember it. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> that's, that's yeah. That's we tried we we tried the homeless ministry, and you know we uh, we lost three of our kids there, one of each. And then we took in a we we tried the uh, prison ministry. And it was kind of like a family reunion. <laughs> and then we uh, we tried the we went to the nursing homes, and there was this little lady. She was in a wheelchair, and she said, uh, "Do you know who I am?" And I said, "No, but if you'll go to the front desk, we'll tell you." <laughs> and uh, <laughs> but we had to quit with a spotlight at our show because all the people at the nursing home kept walking towards it. But, uh, <laughs> so uh, we just go around and go to churches and tell people about Jesus. We go a lot of places to uh, a lot of events that, that pastors can't go to. Yeah. Because our whole ministry is we tell people, we start by getting them to laugh and listen to our silly songs. Yes. And then we, when we got a, their attention, we tell them about Jesus. Yeah. And then Alto will knock them out with one of them very good gospel songs yeah. that tells us about the heart, like he didn't throw the clay away. And yeah. it's them kind of songs. And uh, before you know it, we've got their attention, we've got their heart. Because it's our, it's our mission and our hope that we can change one person. You know, wouldn't Amen. it be a great person deal if we could get every dopehead, crackhead, pothead, and drunk off the streets and back into our church? That's right. That's, that's our belong. that's our mission. Wouldn't ministry. that be great? That's man, I feel you because uh, that's our goal too. You know, we we try to do humor. I don't know if we're really that funny, but uh, you know, we do some humor and and music and stuff. But it's only just to throw the net out and really bring people in. Uh, I know you visited one church. It's on your CD uh, because it's on the song "Don't Sit in My Pew." That, that wasn't a very good experience, was no, it? No, First Baptist Church, Forest City, Arkansas. Yeah, really? True story. True story. Well, sorry, First Baptist in Green Forest, Arkansas. No, Forest City. Oh, Forest yeah, City. Yeah, them folks in Green Forest be going to you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Send all cards and letters to them. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I mean, people feel like they own the pew and they uh, own yeah. the, the, you know, the kitchen, the soundboard. I've, I've had, you know, yeah. sound men slap, slap my hand. Oh, yeah, that's bad. Yeah. It's my soundboard. I paid for it. Yeah. You know, that well, kind of like thing. Justin just barely let me sit in his chair. I'm telling I you. I know. He thinks he owns it, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah. But you have great songs. You sang Excuses last time you were here. Uh, the Fruitcake song you just sang. Of course, you did. You do I Fly Away. Great, great song. Uh, what a Wonderful World you did oh, yeah. here. More Than a Name. What a great song. Well, that, that one, uh, we changed the words to that. Now, when that song was written, it was written to uh, honor Vietnam veterans. But we changed the words, wrote a second verse to it. Now it uh, honors fallen peace officers, police officers, marshals, sheriffs. Yeah. And uh, because right now in our world, that's a, that's a ministry that, that people forget about, that those folks have families too. Yeah, 
Yeah. Well, in a second, I want you to sing the donkey song. Oh, yeah. People are going to like this song. It's a great song. But would you look in the camera and just pray with some folks? You know, man, our veterans and our police, they need some prayer. Let's let's throw that in there, too, for sure. Will you pray with some folks that have just, uh, they've been religious too long. They just really need to be more than religious and more than, it, this ties in kind of with the same song, more than a name. They need to know Jesus in more than name only. Amen. They really know him in a real way. Would you lead someone to Jesus? Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this opportunity to come into your house into your home your house your your heart lord that and we just pray for these folks that need to, to listen to, to what is being said that that realize that you are love and yes. you love us all yes god and lord we just lift up our armed service people around the world and and uh, we just and their families lord and especially our peace officers lord that we can lift them up and because when there's no law and order anymore, it'll be back to the days of Sodom and Gomorrah. And Lord, we knew what happened then. Lord, we just thank you. We thank you for the opportunity to go out and minister. And Lord, we just say that if there's anybody that needs to hear this word, they will hear it today. We ask these things in Christ's name. Amen. 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 Man, except Jesus in Omen or away. You guys go get ready to go sing this uh, donkey song. And uh, don't be stubborn like a donkey. Come on. Would you just open up and try Jesus? The Bible says you can taste and see that the Lord is good. And it, as you do, you can try him. It's a guaranteed deal. If you give him your life, he'll take away all your sins. If you don't like how it's going, you can get all your sins back. It's a guaranteed deal. But try the Lord today. Taste and see that he is good. I'm going to talk about him and how he gives us victory every day right after this wonderful song and then the message about our fuelless solar-powered generator. But now back to sing the donkey song from their great CD that everybody needs to get. Life's kind of funny. Here's Pastor Pudge and Sister Sludge. Give him a nice hand. Oh, Balaam had a donkey, he saddled up and rode. He wasn't going God's way, it was quite an episode. That donkey started talking and told him not to go. And if God spoke through a donkey, then this one thing I should know. If God can use a donkey, then maybe he'll use me. If God spoke through a donkey, maybe he'll speak through me. Lord, help me to be humble, that my face I may see. If God can use a donkey, then maybe he'll use me. I try, I try to, to travel, travel my way, not care about his until i saw his glory realizing who he is that speaks to us through wondrous things like flowers and the trees and that old talking donkey brought balaam to his knees if god can use a donkey then maybe he'll use me if god spoke through a donkey Maybe he'll speak through me. Lord, help me to be humble, that thy face I may see. If God can use a donkey, then maybe he'll use me. If God can use a donkey, then maybe he'll use me. If God spoke through a donkey, maybe he'll speak through me. Lord, help me to be humble, that thy face I may see. If God can use a donkey, then maybe he'll use me. If God can use a donkey, if God spoke through a donkey, if God worked through a donkey, if God can use a donkey, then maybe he'll use me. And you... This amazing solar generator is easy to use, portable, and affordable. 
keep one in your car for emergencies, camping trips, or tailgate parties. The included solar panel collects free sunlight and stores extra energy in its lithium batteries. Get one for your house to charge your phone, computers, or run your lights to lower your electric bill. Just a few years ago, a generator like this would cost thousands of dollars. Today, just $499. It's 100% tax deductible and your satisfaction is guaranteed. Call now at 209-44-KEVIN. We'll include two LED lights, AC charger, USB connectors for your smartphone and tablets, one solar panel, and for a limited time, free shipping. For more information, visit kevinshorey.com or call us at 209-44-KEVIN. Thank you for your continued support. Wow, thank you, Pastor Pudge, Sister Sludge, for the donkey song and the fruitcake song and all that. Please come back again, do some more Christmas songs. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. But you know what Christmas is to me? Christmas is a time to really, really, really remind people what the season is all about. It's because Christ came to this earth to set people free. He came as a baby. He grew into a man. He died for our sins. He rose again, conquered death, hell, and the grave. All of that part of his perfect plan. That's one of the songs I wrote on uh, my Christmas CD called His Perfect Plan. That perfect plan is for you and me. And I hope you prayed with Pastor Pudge today and you accept Jesus in your life and make him real in your life and surrender him. He will uh, make you whole. He will uh, make you feel complete and under you'll understand why you were born. He has a plan and a great destiny for your life. One of his plans is for you to attain wisdom and knowledge and gain understanding about this life. He says with his wisdom, we've been reading in our devotional time every day with our staff in Proverbs. And one of the Proverbs, Proverbs the chapter, chapter 21 is a great one. It talks about if you have a quarrelsome complaining wife, it's better to be in the desert or a corner of a roof. So anyway, besides that, <laughs> it says that you are to attain wisdom, not to be concerned with the foolishness of this world, but to gain wisdom. And with the wisdom, you can take down any foe. You can take down any enemy. We've known that with wisdom in, in history, like the Trojan horse, the, the army couldn't have been defeated unless they came up with that strategy of the Trojan horse. But whatever enemy is attacking you, maybe it's sickness, maybe it's poverty, maybe something is happening to your family. Uh, whatever it may be, God will give you the wisdom if you ask. He says the only thing you can't have wisdom to do is outsmart God. You can never outsmart Him. Some people think they can. So don't try to outsmart Him. Join on the winning team. How many know we're in the winning team and, and with God's people for sure? And to finish with the theme about animals and donkeys, at the, the end of chapter 21 in Proverbs 20 it says, The horse is prepared for battle. And deliverance comes from the Lord. See, God even loves horses and donkeys and all those animals and all those wonderful things. You know why? Because He is the answer for everything. That's why I say Jesus is the answer for your world today. I'll see you tomorrow. Promotional consideration provided by Meyer Hotels. The preceding program was brought to you by Kevin Shorey Ministries and our family of friends.